overview. The um, campers arrive here in the morning about 9 a.m. The buses, if your children come in on buses, it's between 8.45 and 9 that they arrive. And when the buses get here, we have camp staff ready and um, happy to take them out of their buses and walk them up to their camp groups. If you are dropping your child off at early care, that starts as of 7.30 a.m. And that you pull to the back um, parking lot circle. And we will also have staff there to take out your camper so you don't need to get out of your car. And lastly, if you choose to drive your children to camp, drop off is also between 8.45 and 9. And you pull right up to the front of the JCC building. And again, we'll have staff there to take your children out. So we try and make it as convenient as possible for you so you don't need to ever leave your car and make it fast and easy. At the end of the day, similarly, um, at about 4 o'clock, our buses leave for anyone who's going home on buses. And at 4 o'clock, anybody who's being picked up from their parents gets brought back down to the front of the building. So again, you can just pull right up. And if you are a late stay camper, then parents, you can pull to the back circle and um, you walk up to our camp building, which you'll see today, and sign out your child and then um, you'll be on your way. So those are sort of the before and at the end of the day things. When your children get here in the morning, the first thing they do is go to their camp um, groups and they get attendance and they drop off their lunch if they're bringing lunch that day. And then we have a Boker Tow flagpole meeting every morning, which is a, um, about a 10, 15 minute activity based on their theme. Um, so every week we have a theme of the week and do we do specialized activities based on that. So that's every morning. And then um, they get on there with their day. And about every 45 minutes they have different activities. They have swim lessons every morning and a free swim every afternoon. And then throughout the week they have um, all different activities, sports and art and music and gymnastics and cooking and archery and ropes course and all different things. And for um, this unit, for first and second and third graders, the period after lunch on Tuesdays and Thursdays is cuisine, which is their um, choice period, and they choose those when they're at camp. And then third graders on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday have an additional cuisine period, which is um, also on the afternoon time, and they'll also get to choose those when they're at camp. And if you go onto our website, if you haven't been on over this weekend, later in the week, last week, the daily schedule went up. So in addition to the calendars that have all the themes, your children's specific activities are all listed there. You can see what they're doing every period and at the end of the day have something to actually specifically ask them about um, and get a, hopefully a great answer back from them. Um, in terms of what they need to bring, they should have a backpack with them every day. They should come wearing a bathing suit and then bring a second bathing suit and towels in their bag and underwear for at the end of the day after their second swim to change into. Then, um, they should also have a water bottle, which we have water jugs and water fountains, so they'll be refilling that throughout the day. They should also come sunscreened and then send um, a little bottle of sunscreen in a Ziploc bag, so in case it explodes, it doesn't get in the um, backpack. And the counselors will help them apply sunscreen at least two more times a day after each swim. If your child needs more than that, obviously we're happy to do more than that as well, depending on your child's specific need. That pretty much is what they need in their bag. If they purchase lunch, obviously you don't need to send anything. If they don't, then you're going to send lunch, which will get refrigerated. Um, so just make sure you send something that's appropriate to go in the refrigerator. Um, it doesn't get heated up since we're out on the campsite. Okay, so any of those things. If your child has allergies, we do have nut-free tables that they're able to sit at with other campers who aren't eating nuts um, that day, as well as we have for snack in the morning and snack at the end of the day, we have specific um, snacks for them if they're allergies that you may have provided or if you've checked with us if ours are okay for them. So you can figure out, um, you know, if you have any questions the allergies, most of you have spoken to, but if you have any questions to that, please let us know today so we make sure that they're getting their appropriate snacks. Um, our camp nurse is up on the campsite today, so if you have any questions for her or medicines to drop off, you can also do that up there. A um, couple things for your families. In addition to your campers being here during the day, we have our family fun nights, which is a great time. Camp families are welcome um, on these evenings to come to our outdoor pool club, whether or not you belong to the pool club. Um, you come for free. We have a pool party. There's Sometimes there's a DJ. One night we have um, tie-dyeing. One night this summer we have Camplified, which is, uh, for those of you who have been here in the past, 
We've had them um, a couple, uh, two times before. And Campified are a bunch of concerts that come. They're here with us during the day, and then they play a concert at night. These are up and coming people. Um, we were lucky enough two years ago to have Cody Simpson come, and now he's obviously um, the real deal. So um, we, you never know. We could be getting something that somebody that a year from now you're going to be seeing on TV, or other times they're just great musicians. But it's a really fun time. Um, we also have our JCC 5K this summer. That's on Thursday, July 19th. There's um, for families to do a one mile walk. There's also to run. Um, it's out on the streets. It starts at the J, ends at the J. And then we also have a um, pool party afterwards where we're having inflatables and a DJ and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be a really fun night, even if you're not participating in the 5K, to come join us. That whole flyer with all that information is on the website as well. So don't miss out on those. It's just a nice time that you come, see camp staff, camp friends, and um, hang out at our pool. Um, we have um, a new camp Facebook page. If you have not um, gotten onto it and liked us, please do so. We will be putting up camp videos all the time of different activities the kids are doing at camp, pictures, updates, things like that. Um, it's facebook.com um, slash JCC Camp Ruach, so very easy to remember and look up. But please um, become a part of it because it will be a great way for you to get information and very exciting for you. Um, please make sure that all of your campers are wearing sneakers when they come to camp. They're playing sports every day. They're walking around and we want to make sure we don't have any stubbed toes and that they're able to do everything. Some of them may want to bring flip-flops or water shoes to walk down to the pool from the um, locker rooms, but many of the kids just take off their sneakers right there and uh, put it next to their bag and it's no problem. So I leave that part up to you, but we do ask that you wear sneakers throughout the daytime so you're able to participate in all the activities and the ropes course and things like that that they wouldn't be able to do if they didn't have sneakers on. Okay. So the last thing is that, uh, or the last two things, one is that you guys are sending a lot of things in your bags every day, and so we want to make sure that you label everything. Because if your child's name is on it, then we are much more likely to get back to you than if your child's name is not on it. We go through it every week and hand it back to anybody's names who are on it, but please make sure that it's clear and that um, either a full last name, first initial last name, something. Don't just do your initials because there's a lot of TJs and a lot of MJs and things like that. So we want to make sure that we're able to get it back to you. And then also, if you have any notes that you're sending in, so if your child's schedule is changing for the day, you're picking up, not going on the bus, we also need you to make sure you put your child's full name on that note, as well as the date that the change is happening on. Some of you have different last names in your children, so we just want to make sure we have the child's full name and any date um, that is, uh, the change is happening on, so that we make sure we have all the appropriate information for you. Okay. Um, so in terms of the rest of the day, you guys are going to be, if you have any questions, please feel free to come up and ask. And you guys are going to be able to head straight to the back, get your t-shirts, which you get a regular camp shirt and a Shabbat shirt for Fridays. And then you can head right up um, and meet your counselors. So enjoy the day and we'll see you all tomorrow.